Have you recently been diagnosed with a hormonal condition like PCOS and your doctor prescribes you with a low carb diet and you have no idea what to do? Keep on watching for the best low carb recipe and food hacks. Well, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Nicole. And on this channel, I talk a lot about how to balance your hormones naturally, how to balance your hormones for PCOS, what supplements to take. I share healthy recipes that are both high carb and lower carb. And I love talking about this stuff because I suffer with PCOS myself and I know how much of a struggle it can be to balance your cycles and have just healthy periods in general. So today I'm going to be talking about my best low carb food and recipe hacks to help you on your new low carb journey if that's what you decide to do. Everyone is different. Some people thrive on a lower carb diet and some people thrive on a higher or moderate carb diet. It all depends on your biochemistry and your, your own personal situation. I myself like to dabble in a little bit of low carb, a little bit of moderate carb. I used to be high carb, low fat vegan and it was a disaster for my hormones. So I don't really do that anymore, but I do like dabbling in some low carb stuff here and there because I just like the way I feel. All right, let's get into the low carb food hacks. So my first one is bell pepper sandwiches. I know this sounds insane. I know, but it's a TikTok thing. It's a trend that happened like a year or two ago that everyone went crazy about. A lot of people were making fun of it. Like how could anyone eat a bell pepper sandwich? And I'm talking about the pepper as in the pepper is the bread instead of bread. And I know it sounds crazy and weird, but you guys, it is so freaking good. Even when I'm not like having a low carb day, I'm just kind of like eating whatever. I will crave this. It is so good, especially during the hot summer months. This is the perfect like poolside snack, a little bell pepper sandwich, some fresh fruit. Oh, it is so good, so refreshing, so crispy and flavorful. So here's how I make it. Okay, here's how you do a pepper sandwich. You're gonna cut it in half and then take out all of the insides, the seeds and the white part. And then you're gonna spread on some spreadable cheese of some kind. Cream cheese works best in my opinion. I love Kite Hill, you can use regular if you want to. And you spread it around with a knife and then you add a little dollop of yellow mustard on each half. And this part is very important. You're gonna spread it around with your finger to get in all the little crevices. Trust me, the finger works the best. And then next up, you're gonna add whatever toppings you want, anything you would add to a sandwich. So I like red onions, love a good raw onion flavor. And then I add on some cheese. This is follow your heart provolone. And then any sort of like deli meat you want. I'm using turkey here. And then I top it off with pickles, still pickles. And my God, the best, so freaking good. Listen, don't knock the bell pepper sandwich till you tried it, okay? Okay, next low carb hack is wrapping spring rolls, summer rolls, or like sandwich wraps instead of with like bread or rice paper, you wrap it in collard greens. Collard greens are perfect for this because they're super big, they're massive, and they fold really well, they don't break really easily, and they just make a nice surface for something that you would roll up like a spring roll or a wrap. I like doing these Asian style, so I'll put everything that I would put in like a fresh spring roll, so carrots, cucumber, peppers, you could do sprouts, you could do tofu, you could do chicken, any sort of protein that you want. You can do avocado and I wrap that together and I pair it with a delicious sauce. If I'm doing an Asian inspired uh, fresh summer roll, I like to do an Asian peanut sauce. If you need a recipe for that, click right here in the right hand corner. And a sauce that I would pair with like a turkey type of wrap that I would make with it is pesto or like a roasted red pepper sauce. Oh, so good. The next low carb hack I have for you are kelp noodles. Now I know these look scary and they might have gotten a bad rap. You might have heard some negative things about them and it's usually because people don't make them right. You have to season them with a little baking soda and lemon juice and let them sit for five minutes and then rinse them off and they become really soft. If you don't do that step, they're gonna be really stringy, really tough. The texture is not gonna be good. It's gonna be disgusting. But adding the lemon juice, adding the baking soda, rinsing them off, it makes them really soft and they taste a lot like regular rice noodles. Now the texture is not exactly the same. They're basically flavorless, so you don't have to worry about the flavor. You can flavor it to whatever sauce you put it in, but the texture is a little bit more, um, not as like firm as like a rice noodle, but they're really, really good. Another low carb swap that I like to make for noodles is spaghetti squash. Now I know squash is technically not a low carb vegetable. It's very starchy, but it is uh, less 
less carbs than like a traditional pasta would be or a brown rice pasta or something like that. So it's a great option if you're trying to eat more like whole foods and you wanna stay away from stuff like that. I really like roasting my spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot. It makes it super easy and it comes out a lot quicker. I just put it in the Instant Pot for like 20, 25 minutes and I cut it in half and I scrape out all the seeds and then I scrape out the middle with a fork and it is perfectly cooked and noodly. And then you can just toss it with whatever sauce you want. You can do a tomato sauce, you can do an Asian peanut sauce or a stir fry, and it is just like regular noodles. I mean, ju not just like regular noodles. Let's not get crazy here. I mean, it's, it's a little bit different, but it does a great job, I would say. And you can make it taste delicious. The next low carb swap I like to do is cauliflower sushi rice in place of regular sushi rice. Now, to make cauliflower sushi rice, it's very, very easy. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, by the way, because I, I share a lot of recipes on there. But basically, you're gonna rice your cauliflower or buy it already chopped up, and you're gonna add it to a saute pan with some sesame oil. And then after a few minutes, once the cauliflower has softened a little bit and shrunk, you can make a little well in the middle and add in some tamari, some coconut aminos, and some cream cheese. You can use regular dairy cream cheese, or I like to use Kite Hill cream cheese. And then you're gonna slowly start to incorporate that into the rest of the cauliflower rice and continue to cook it for a few more minutes. And that allows the cauliflower rice to be a little bit more sticky than like regular cauliflower rice, which is pretty loose. So you can use that cauliflower rice to make regular sushi rolls, sushi bowls, poke bowls, anything like that. And it is so delicious. I love eating sushi this way. Now on to sweet low carb swaps. So my favorite low carb sweetener instead of using regular sugar is monk fruit sweetener. I think it is so delicious. It's way better than stevia. I do not like this taste of stevia. I think it leaves a really bad aftertaste in my mouth. Monk fruit does not do that. I love putting monk fruit in my morning iced matcha. I use it in baked goods. I use it in any sort of situation that I would use regular sugar and it tastes just like sugar. I'm not kidding. They also sell monk fruit maple syrups and stuff like that, which do taste very different than a regular maple syrup, but they are really good and they're lighter and you don't feel like garbage after you eat them, which is nice. The final low carb swap I'm sharing with you today might sound crazy, but trust me, try it before you knock it. Frozen zucchini in smoothies. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but for me personally, I love a smoothie with like frozen bananas, all these frozen fruits fruits to make it really voluminous and fluffy and delicious and like ice cream. But the problem is the sugar can add up, especially if you're on a low carb diet plan that might not work for you. So a hack I have is to lightly steam chopped zucchini and then freeze it in a single layer in your freezer. And once it's frozen, pop them all off, put them in a plastic bag and store them in your freezer. And I usually use like a small handful for a smoothie and then I maybe add in half a banana or a really small banana, some berries. It's a great way to add volume without adding extra sugar, basically. And you don't taste it, I promise. Like frozen zucchini, you can add it to anything and you will not taste it. That's why you can make like zucchini bread and stuff like that and you literally can't taste it when you're eating it. I also like to add in shredded zucchini to like oatmeal. You can make, I think they're called zotes, <laughs> low carb oatmeal. And if you are, if you're an oatmeal fan, but you can't handle, your body can't handle oats, a great way to, you know, get your oatmeal fix is to do a zoat meal with shredded zucchini. Now, I personally have never tried that before, so I can't vouch, but I've heard it's really good. Or you could like cut the oats in half and then the other half could be like shredded zucchini. But I'm telling you, frozen zucchini is the move. It's really, really good. You can also do this with frozen cauliflower. I personally think zucchini is more flavorless. I can still taste a little cauliflower when I do it. It's not my personal fave, I prefer zucchini. All right, that is all the low carb recipe and food hacks I have for you today. If you like the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below and comment your favorite hack and which one you're gonna try first. Don't forget to take care of yourself this week, eat good food, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Diet Coke and good for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five.